Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the drive firmware on a Dell PowerVault ME4 storage array. I've never done this before, so I wanted to record the process. Prior to doing the firmware upgrade, you need to ensure there isn't any I.O. going to the storage array. So in this case, it meant taking all hosts that connect to the array, shutting down the VMs, and putting the hosts in maintenance mode. And that is something that I confirmed with a Dell tech before I started this process. So at the present time, all of my hosts are in maintenance mode and I'm ready to get started. So here I am in my PowerVault screen. I'm gonna click on system and just highlighting any of the drives you will see the drive model and the revision is ST31. I took note of that drive model and I've opened the README that comes with the Dell update. You do a search for the drive model and it will tell you what file you want to use to do the upgrade. In this case it's st34.lod. This is the zip file that has all of the firmware updates in this release. So I'm going to go to Seagate folder and sure enough, there's ST34. So I'm just gonna drag that to my desktop so that I have it. Now it's time to do the upgrade. So I'm going to go to the system menu and choose update firmware and then click update disk drives. I have to choose my ST34 LOD file and this screen will allow me to choose the first 10 drives. I get a warning to make sure there's no I.O. And then I hit yes. I'm just going to let this process run in real time. It takes about 40 seconds for these first 10 drives to update. So as I mentioned, this was the first time I've done this before. So I did a lot of research. I'm doing it remotely, so I didn't want to mess anything up and then have to drive into the office on a Sunday. Like most of these things, planning is key. So in the screen you see that it loads the firmware on all the drives, it takes 10 or 15 seconds to process everything, and then yay we get a green update, we're good. It dumps me back to the main screen. I'm going to go back into that system menu, back to update firmware. Uh, let me just point out, don't be alarmed by this. The screen is a little slow at picking up the updated version. I'm going over now to drives 10 through 19. Now I'll pick up my file again. And again, it's going to be about a 40 second process. And I'm just letting this run in real time so that you know what to expect if you're going to be doing this process. Aside from the hosts, I have a Veeam server which does all the backups each night. Even though nothing is scheduled to run during the day, I disabled all those jobs. I don't know if that was necessary, but I just wanted to make sure there wouldn't be any attempt to access the storage array during this upgrade. And now we've got another successful message, 10 down, 4 to go. Notice this time when I go back into the update and I click on the drives, that it, the first 10 drives now show ST34. Uh, the second set of drives don't show that update yet. It's just a little slow about refreshing in the GUI. Even though we're only doing four drives on this last batch, again, it's gonna take about 40 seconds. If there's a way to do all 24 drives all at once, I wasn't able to find that, but it wasn't really that big of a deal to just run through it this way. So I'm very happy everything is going as hoped. And here we are. 
green again. So now with all the drives updated, you can just go through this screen and you'll notice ST34 is the current revision. If there's a screen where you can see all that listed out at once, I wasn't able to find it, but simple enough to just go through here and look at the individual disks and confirm that they are all upgraded. So in summary, do planning, make sure you know exactly what firmware file you need. You've shut down all I.O. so there won't be any issues with that. Then it's just a matter of processing things. Once it's done and you get to this point, there's no need to restart the ME. Just take your hosts out of maintenance mode and start your VMs. Thanks for watching.